All right, what is up everyone? My name is Ian, otherwise known as Shots. And in today's video, guys, I'm gonna show you the best class setup for the MTZ 762. So a lot of people, of course, recently, or just right now in the meta are using the MTZ 556, but the MTZ 762 is also a very, very good option. I say this because it's a battle rifle and has a lot higher damage, while also still maintaining very, very low recoil. The only downside to this gun, in my opinion, is the 30 round mag. Overall, in my opinion, it's a pretty great gun to use right now. So if you wanna switch it up and use something different, go ahead and give this class setup a try. But YouTube is currently telling me that overall there's about 85 percent of you guys that actually aren't subscribed to the channel so if you're brand new make sure to drop a like and also subscribe let's jump into the gameplay I knew that was gonna happen. It won't let me jump. We're good, though. Wait, push him. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here, Moving in. 
Comp. Head to the safe zone. Layered him back. Stop! I'm not to buy you back. Stop. He's gonna buy you back. He promises. We know you're around here. Let's go. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you the class app and everything for the MTZ 762. So here's the class app and everything I was using for the MTZ 762. So basically for your magazine, of course you're going to want to run the highest amount of ammo. Unfortunately, like I said, the only downside to this gun is the um 30 round mag. I'll be honest, it's not too too bad. You can roughly kill probably like two or three people in one clip. But like I said, it would be a lot better if it had a 40 or a 50 even. But yeah, just run that because of course it's the most ammo you can run. After that, for the muzzle, you want to run the Cassis Break. Now the reason you want to run this is just to reduce that horizontal recoil. This is one of those guns that have a lot of horizontal recoil for some reason. Um, aside from that though, it only hits ADS speed um by plus five percent. That's barely noticeable. After that, for the barrel. So for the barrel, you can run either the Clinch Pro or the Blackthorn. I personally just ran the Blackthorn to boost my bullet velocity and range even further. Things that like hits for downsides is just ADS movement speed and sprint to fire which is barely noticeable. Then of course it hits hip fire a ton for some reason, but this is a battle rifle. So you're not really gonna be using it at close range or hip firing it. So that doesn't matter at all. After that, for the optic, I used the Jack Glassless optic. I use this on literally every single long range option if I'm not using the Eagle Eye. This is just the clearest optic in the game with a simple blue dot sight with the lowest visual recoil. After that, for the stock, I use the EXF Close Quarters Assault Stock, and this just reduces recoil in every single category and just only minorly hits. Overall, though, this is a very, very great gun to use, in my opinion. Like I said, the only thing that hel that holds it back is that 30 round mag. If it had a 40 or 50, this could easily be the next meta gun. But overall, that's the gameplay and everything, guys, and the class setup. I hope you all did enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. You can also join the channel as a member for only $3 a month. You'll be able to see all my videos hours days possibly even weeks before anybody else on the channel that's all i have though i'll see you guys in the next one